Good day. Welcome into a special Thirsty Thursday. I'm so glad you could make it. This one I am super excited about. This here that we're going to try today is something that if you're in the U.S. or surrounding areas, you may or may not have ever tried this before. This is Ben Spro Bent Spoke Brewings Descent 23. They are a brewery straight out of Canberra, Australia. That's right, down under. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. And this was a special gift to me from a couple of my great friends from Australia who were over here to visit, and they thought that you all would love to hear what I thought of this beer that you may never get a chance to try. But maybe we'll have such great things to say about it, you'll plan a trip to Australia just to give it a try. So let's give this a shot. Now, Descent 23 is uh, ben, ben Spoke Brewing Company's birthday beer. So every year they come out with a new one to celebrate their birthday. It is a barrel-aged imperial stout. It's 10%. So realistically, this would typically be your winter beer that you would drink. And right now it's summer here in Pennsylvania. But down in Australia, it is the dead of winter. So kudos to Ben Spoke Brewing, making what sounds like a delicious winter beer. I can't wait to try it. Let's see what we think of it. Let's crack this open. I love this can. Uh, it's dark, it's bright, it's got pops of color. It's very cool. Uh, so I'm really, really intrigued by this. Brewed on. Naganawal County. I have no idea if I said that right, so I'm sorry if I didn't. But here we go. Let's crack this open. Let's tune in here. Ooh, good, good crack. Ooh, that smells awesome. All right. I'll tell you right now, before this even pours into the glass, just as it gets to the top, this is going to be dark. It looks like it's going to be delicious. It pours thick. Uh, that is something different. That pours like motor oil. Oh man. Look at that. I am not slowing down that video. That poured out like molasses or honey. It smells awesome. So first impressions, super dark color. We had that very viscous pour. I mean, this is opaque. If we look at the very edges, we get that little red tint, similar to what Ryan talked about when we did our beer tasting class with Big Pop Brewing. Uh, we've got this really nice, thick, fluffy head that is not dissipating. Uh, it's hanging out there. It's not a white head, it's almost the color of coffee. Um, very cool looking beer. Uh, I'm amazed at how dark it is. Uh, I love how thick that looked. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what we think here. Oh, that smells excellent. It has this roasty, malty smell to it. You get this almost leather-like scent on the nose. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Wow. That is tasty. Um, it has an almost wine-like quality to it. So we're getting the barrel-aged taste here. Like I said, it's very, the texture is interesting. It's thick, it's syrupy, it lingers, it coats your mouth, it's drying as it dissipates. It's very good. Uh, like I said, you kind of get this wine-like quality on the initial taste. It is super flavorful. Look at that sticking to the glass there. 
that just shows you the viscosity of this, the lacing. It's a very good. Um, that one's gonna knock you on your ass too, but very tasty. You get the coffee-like notes. I think I said kind of a leathery quality to it. The roast comes through nice. That's a good beer. That is awesome. Um, yeah, it's for an Imperial Stout at 10%. It's not as suffocatingly heavy as some others that you might taste. You, know, you saw how that poured out where it was thick, uh, very viscous. It doesn't have that same weight or density when you're drinking. I mean, you can taste the thickness, but it doesn't feel like it's something that's going to weigh you down. That's uh, super pleasant. Uh, I really like that, that's, a, that's really good. Uh, the, the viscosity is the thing that is interesting to me. I don't know that I love it, I don't hate it, but I don't know that I love it. Um, but I would definitely drink this again. So let's give it a score here. Um, so we're gonna rate this based on color, uh, aroma, flavor, and just overall impressions. So color, you know, Imperial Stout, barrel aged, exactly what we'd expect. I love the head. Um, I love how foamy and thick it is. Uh, aroma is wonderful. You get that nice malty roasted flavor. Um, the taste is excellent. It's thicker than I typically like as far as taste goes, even for the Imperial Stouts and other beers that I drink in that vein. Let's give this a 8.2. It's a super flavorful beer. Everything you would want out of an Imperial Stout, 10%. You could drink this a couple of them and not have uh, too many. I mean, you might feel like you've had too many, but I don't think you're going to feel weighed down. Um, so, yeah, great stuff. Uh, ben Spoke Brewing, Descent 23, their birthday beer. Happy birthday from all of us over here at All Things Beer. Uh, can't wait to come and see you when I visit Australia within the next couple of years and see my awesome friends, Glenn and Marie, who brought this beer over. Uh, cheers. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.